The most effective tool to get more views on YouTube is a custom thumbnail. A good thumbnail is as important as creating a good video. It's like a billboard for your video, and people will often see the thumbnail before they read the title or description of your video on YouTube. Most videos are found through the suggested videos on the side of YouTube. This means that your thumbnail needs to attract them to watch your video. I'm gonna show you how to make a custom thumbnail even if you don't know anything about graphic design and without having to purchase photo editing software. And that's coming up next. When creating your thumbnail, it's important to know that some research has been done and it's been found that people are important to have in your thumbnail. And those people need to be large enough so you can see their eyes. It also needs to represent the content that your video is about. It's important to use color in your thumbnail and also make sure that your thumbnails have some kind of design consistency. I'd recommend having some text in the thumbnail. The closer you can keep your thumbnail to three words, the better your thumbnail will perform. If you can't have just three words, I'd recommend only using three lines of text. I know some YouTubers who spend as much time working on their thumbnails as they do recording their videos. Let's get started creating your thumbnail. First, you'll need to take a photo. You can take a screenshot from your video using the editing software, or you can take a photo while you're recording with something like your smartphone. Or the way I do this is to roll the camera for a couple of seconds and then pose, and then I screenshot that in my editing software. There are a lot of ways to create thumbnails. You could buy Photoshop, or you could see if your computer has image editing software. But I'm gonna show you how to do this with a free account from a website called Canva. I'm not sponsored by Canva, I just really like their service. To get started, go to canva.com. You'll need to sign up for a free account. Canva also has a paid version, so make sure that you look for the free option, unless you want to use the paid version, which has some really great features and is worth the small amount that they charge each month. Inside of Canva, select the PowerPoint option 16 by nine. This will give you a proper size for your thumbnail. Next, upload your photo or screenshot. As I mentioned before, keep some consistent branding with your thumbnails. This would include using the same font in all your thumbnails and the placement of some common elements like your company's logo. Canva has a bunch of different designs, but for this exercise, all you need to do is add our picture that we created earlier and some text. So what we'll wanna do is come over here to uploads and we'll upload an image. I'll find a still image of myself, that one I took earlier, and let that upload. Then what I'll do is I'll take that image and I will drag it onto the canvas. As you can see, this image for some reason isn't big enough, so I'm actually gonna stretch it a little bit. Fortunately, when you scale an image in Canva, it doesn't let you distort the image. Be very careful not to touch any other buttons while you're doing this. So I'm just gonna drag the edges here until it's full screen. With this image, I might wanna make it a little bigger. Then I can drag the edges and I can use my mouse to drag it around. If I lose the edge, I can always drag back down and make it bigger again. Just be careful that it's not distorting your image. One thing you can do to help your images is oversaturate and over sharpen them. There's been a study done that says this will make your images more attractive. This is done in Canva by first adjusting the saturation. This will make the thumbnail look a little gross for lack of a better word, but it'll look better on YouTube because the thumbnail is so small. I, I'd recommend 30% extra saturation. To adjust the sharpening in Canva, you use the blur slider and slide it in the negative direction. Now don't go crazy with this either, maybe around 30%. The reason the thumbnail needs to have a person who is close up is because many people will see the thumbnail on their phone and if the person's head to toe, they'll look tiny and it will be hard for the viewer to engage. Use colors that will help you stand out from the other videos. YouTube's colors are red and white. I recommend my clients use pretty much any color except for red and white. As you can see, Canva has a lot of options for pre-designed stuff. But all I really wanna to do today is add some text. I'm gonna click and add a heading, and I can use this text and make it into my text. The title of this video is, What is Content Marketing? And I've made some mistakes here, so I can go back and I can change this. I can add a question mark, and I can capitalize everything to make it easier on myself. You want your title to be as close to three words as possible. And at the very least, if you can't make it three words, make it three lines. So let's say I wanna make the text bigger. I just hit enter, and now I've got two lines. So I can come up here and make the font, and I'll drag this to get what I want, make it a little bigger. If I wanna move this up, I can just come down here to the edge where it turns into a four-way arrow and move it up. Now you can see I need a different color. 
So what I'll do is I'll click and I'll select everything by dragging everything or on a Mac you can click Command A or on a PC you can click Control A and it'll select everything. And then you can go up here and choose your color. I'm gonna choose white because it pops off my background. You can choose whatever works best for your image. I still want this to be a little bit bigger. And whatever you choose here in terms of fonts, make sure you keep the same font week after week. It will help people get to know you better and it will help you establish your brand. Now this isn't my favorite font, but it will do for this demonstration. And I can move this around a little bit. I'm fairly happy with this. The idea is that you need to have your face and you need to have your text on screen as big as possible. I like to put shapes under my text to help it pop out. And you can find the shapes in Canva by going to Elements. You can choose a free shape and then resize it to fit your needs. Next, you can change the color. Now, if you need to move some stuff around the screen, you can actually drag a box around the group of elements and bring them together. You can also ungroup them by editing them individually. And I can come over here and I can add our logo. You see it's a little big and it's starting to distort, so I'll shrink it down. And I can bring it over here and maybe we can use this week after week to keep the design consistent. I could make this into three parts. What is content marketing? Which will allow me to make the font even bigger. Make sure you don't put anything important in the upper or lower right of your thumbnail. That's because YouTube will cover those spots with either the watch leader clock or the total running time of your video. So there you go. That's how you use Canva to design a thumbnail for your video. Once you're happy with it, you can come over here to the download box and I recommend downloading as a JPEG. Click download. It prepares my design. It asks me where I want to save it. Make sure you have a folder on your computer called something like thumbnails. And of course, because this is free, they're going to ask you to upgrade to a better version of Canva. And I've paid for Canva. It's a great service. I'd highly recommend it, especially if you're doing a lot of social media posting for sites like Instagram. It's a great way to make memes and quotes and all sorts of other things without having to put a lot of extra time finding images and designs. But if you don't need it, again, the free version for making thumbnails is perfect. The final step is uploading your custom thumbnail to YouTube. That's simply done by clicking on the custom button. You can do this with any video on YouTube. I recommend going back to your old videos that aren't performing well and changing the thumbnails to see if that helps them. Let me know what kind of results you're getting. Are you set for success on YouTube? Make sure you download our free YouTube checklist. And thank you for allowing us to help you make better videos.